All right, folks, Tesla is rolling out something big that's about to revolutionize the industry of self-driving tech and much more. A new AI supercomputer. This computer is packed with state-of-the-art technology that will allow Tesla cars to navigate roads safely and efficiently. But how does this computer work and what does it mean for the future of self-driving cars? In the next few minutes, I will reveal all the details of Tesla's new AI supercomputer and what it means for the future of transportation. So, make sure to watch the whole video, folks, and let's get started. First of all, you should know that Tesla's ambitions go much further than just cars. They're really getting into the complicated and cutting-edge world of AI. You know, at the heart of Tesla's big AI dreams sits the Dojo supercomputer, which is nothing short of a tech wonder. They've pumped around $300 million into this beast to kick things off outfitting it with a jaw-dropping 10,000 GPUs. To show that the company is committed, Tesla has recently announced plans to build a second Dojo supercomputer. But the second one is projected to cost $500 million, and I guess further highlights Tesla's commitment to advancing AI technology. This project is set to start at Tesla's Gigafactory in Buffalo, New York. It's quite the deal, making a significant leap and beefing up the company's computing power. You see, central to the functionality of AI data centers and systems we are talking about are the sophisticated graphics processing units, GPUs, that form the backbone of the computational processors. GPUs are renowned for their efficiency in handling vast quantities of data, and I guess they play an indispensable role in the intricate task of AI model development. As a result, with Tesla's plans to embark on the construction of its second Dojo supercomputer, NVIDIA is ready to further solidify its position as a frontrunner in the AI hardware landscape, with the potential to garner a substantial share of the projected $500 million investment. Talking about NVIDIA, they reported a whopping $18.1 billion in revenue for the third quarter of fiscal 2024. Now, the sales expected from Tesla's Dojo computer project are set to contribute around 3% of that total. It doesn't seem like a huge chunk at first glance, but these kinds of deals are key to NVIDIA's overall strategy. They're all about building up revenue bit by bit and strategically penetrating the market. Well, people, do you think it's a smart move? Anyway, speaking of cutting-edge tech, let's dive a bit deeper into what's powering these AI beasts. You see, the backbone of the supercomputer revolution is NVIDIA's groundbreaking H100 architecture. We're talking about 4th gen tensor cores and a transformer engine that boasts FP8 precision. What does this mean in plain English? Well, it translates to training speeds that are up to four times faster than what we had before, which is a game changer, especially for heavyweight champs like GPT-4. But what really sets H100 apart is its integration of 4th generation NVLink, offering a blazing fast 900 gigabits per second of GPU-to-GPU -GPU interconnect. Complemented by NDR Quantum 2 InfiniBand networking and PCIe Gen 5, with the inclusion of NVIDIA Magnum I.O. software, the system demonstrates remarkable scalability, accommodating both small-scale enterprise setups and colossal unified GPU clusters seamlessly. I guess that by harnessing the power of 10,000 NVIDIA H100 computing GPUs, this new supercomputer will achieve unprecedented performance levels, reaching a peak capacity of a staggering 340 FP64 petaflops for intricate technical computations, alongside an impressive 39.58 INT8 exaflops, tailored specifically for AI applications. By surpassing these capabilities of the fourth most powerful supercomputer in the world, the Leonardo, which offers 304 petaflops in FP64, it underscores the immense computational power of this new supercomputer. I'm curious, what are your thoughts on the technological advances we're discussing and the level we're likely to reach very soon? Now, diving into what makes Dojo stand out, it's really all about its core, the D1 chip. This chip is crafted by TSMC, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, and it seems they pulled off some serious tech wizardry here, using this cutting-edge 7NM tech. 
Imagine this, a chip with a massive 645 mm squared die size, crammed with 50 billion transistors. It also employs a RISC-V approach complemented by custom instructions. You see, this unique design not only showcases Dojo's innovation, but also facilitates its scalability. By employing multiple exapods, the system can accommodate up to an impressive 1,062,000 cores, enabling it to achieve a remarkable performance milestone of 20 exaflops. I guess such scalability is indispensable, particularly in light of the immense data volumes generated by Tesla's extensive fleet. Dojo addresses this challenge head-on by leveraging its robust architecture and parallel processing capabilities. And you've probably figured out, Dojo is not just about hardware. It's also getting a big boost from software by integrating PyTorch framework to enhance its versatility and ease of use. It also introduced novel floating point formats, including CFloat 8 and CFloat 16, which optimize vector processing efficiently and minimize storage requirements. These steps are not just about pumping up Dojo's performance, they're about setting new standards for how deep learning tasks can be done more effectively. Now, another impressive aspect of the supercomputer lies in its role in accelerating Tesla's autonomous driving, FSD technology training. Dojo is equipped with the capability to manage extensive real-world training datasets and boasting a sizable 200 plus petabyte hot tier cache and it furnishes Tesla with a substantial competitive edge. Tim Zayman, the engineering manager for Tesla's AI platform and infrastructure, sheds light on how this capability stands out against other options, underlining its crucial position in Tesla's tech strategy. Anyway, I guess Elon Musk's disclosure of Tesla's plans to allocate over $2 billion towards AI training in 2023, with an additional $2 billion budget for 2024, further proves the company's unwavering commitment to advancing computational capabilities for FSD training. This commitment extends beyond mere words. Elon Musk envisions a future where sustainable technologies, including electric cars and full self-driving capabilities, are accessible to all. Musk has revealed that he is open to sharing Tesla's supercharger network and licensing technology to advance the sustainable energy revolution. What do you think, folks? Is this really a genuine move, or could Musk have some sort of ulterior motive going on here? Musk also desires for an increase in stock ownership in Tesla, which will serve as a steer to the company's AI strategy and associated ventures. By wielding greater influence, I think Musk aims to harness Tesla's potential as an artificial intelligence and robotics powerhouse. However, he knows about the need to balance control with accountability, expressing a reluctance to dominate the company's direction while emphasizing the importance of maintaining a significant stake. Now, while some experts within the industry may view Tesla's dojo as an evolutionary rather than a revolutionary advancement, and some dismiss Elon Musk's involvement as mere hype, I guess it's crucial to place Dojo within the broader context of Tesla's ambitious plans for full self-driving FSD technology and the future landscape of AI applications. So, what are your thoughts concerning Tesla's plan to dominate the AI sector? Do you think Elon Musk can pull this off? Drop a Tesla in the comments to let us know you watched the whole video. And if you enjoyed, please like the video and subscribe, folks. See you in the next one. You all take care.